uh, I'm sure they're, they're in the experimentation, uh, there are people we found that just get B2K, and the B2K is only positive, although that's a, a rare case. Uh, usually it's always negative messaging. Um, some people get torture. Uh, some people get both. Uh, and it runs the gamut. So you can imagine uh, it's, it's, uh, if you're trying to test a new drug, uh, you want a random sample, uh, and you want to uh, pull out all the different variables. Um, and it's called discriminant function analysis. And so you want to test it on different people in different types of variations of the hypnosis, of the mind control, of the stalking, and to see what is most effective. Mm -hmm. Well, the, you know, again, you know, people that have, if, if you don't think those thoughts are your thoughts, you know, and you keep getting these negative thought patterns, or even, you know, like you say, positive thought patterns, you know, I had a vision from God, I had, I had, uh, you know, I have all this going on, or I have a new um, pathway, I suddenly, you know, or I want to commit suicide or something. I mean, do you go to the suicide group and then you realize it's not your thought, but you feel like you're being beamed. Do you go to the suicide support group or do you go to the, uh, TI support group? I mean, if you go to the suicide support group and you say, I'm getting all these thoughts beamed into my head, you know, they're going to think you're a schizophrenic right off the bat. Oh well, yeah. <clears throat> you'll be labeled immediately. Yeah. And that's a given. And then you'll, you'll be given drugs that may or may not help. Uh, so that's a difficult question. You, the, the victims that I've studied, they they almost all got the full-on testing, so there was no doubt that they were TIs. Um, mm -hmm. So people that may just be getting brought into the program, well, maybe if they know too much, the program won't be effective, and they'll give up on them. So in these radio shows and books are very important, at least in my mind, to spoil and ruin a lot of their data that they're gathering. Okay. Well, you know, this is, uh, unfortunately for some of you, this may be a painful topic, but, you know, you need to get the information. There is help out there. These are, um, you know, groups, and I suppose they have to be self-policing because there could be infiltrators into those groups, so those support groups for being a TI. If you feel they are on the Internet, you can get information. Uh, we had some, I've got a couple of resources here, and let me see what you guys think about this. Uh, freedom from, well, it's freedomfchs.com. Freedom from... Um, Covert harassment and surveillance. Okay, that would be a good one. Raven1.net, I guess she was, uh, Eleanor White was the was really the first one I ever read that you know had, had uh, even dealt with this subject. And, you know, uh, mindjustice.org is another one. Americans, uh, thought control, thought control, mind control, disinformation, and other naughty things by Moss David Posner. I guess that's a, some sort of report. Microwave harassment and, con and mind control experimentation uh, and Federation Against Mind Control Europe. Another one is the uh, study of uh, U.S. intelligence community human rights violations and continuing research in electromagnetic weapons. That's a PDF document, and I want to know, uh, Dr. Duncan, where can we get your uh, books? Amazon? Amazon.com, uh, uh, Secrets of Cyber and Cybernetic Warfare. The title is Project Soul Catcher. Okay, I'm going to have those links and the pictures of those books. When, I, when we produce this show as a podcast, I will have all of that. You click on the picture, you'll go right to the uh, link. You can, get, you can go there and get the book. Um, otherwise, is there... Uh, any other bookseller, I'm sure, would have. If, if you don't have yep. Internet, you can just call up whoever you, you know, go to your, you know, Borders bookstore or go to your uh, Barnes & Noble or one of those, and you can order it there, right? That's correct, yeah. Okay, you can get any book anytime. There's no excuse not to, not to get a book. Is there an e-book available? Uh, right now, no, not, okay. not for my books. Uh, I am thinking of... Uh, putting it on Kindle, but uh, it's not on there yet. Okay. Now, what's, now do you have a website? I, I've looked, and I found one that was all Chinese. <laughs> <laughs> but I, could, I, I can't understand this. <laughs> there, there actually is a Chinese uh, support group uh, called Peace Pink, uh, and they, they have their electromagnetic uh, 
uh, groups, uh, experimentation groups there, uh, support groups. There's one in Russia as well. I do not have a website. I don't have time to maintain it. I know Dr. Hall does. I know, and I've got that on the site. That's uh, satweapons.com, right? Dot, dot com. And if anybody has any questions about Dr. Duncan's book, you can email me through that website, and I will can certainly pass on the information on where to get his book. It is a must-read to understand right. this technology. Um, you know, I'm a medical doctor compared to him. I'm definitely a, a fat girl at this prom. So, um, I mean, if you <laughs> oh, really now, want come to on, that's being me. Yeah. <laughs> No, no, no. Look, uh, I need both, okay? I need the new breed. I need a new new breed, uh, Satellite Terrorism in America by Dr. John Hall, and I need to also read Dr. Duncan to get the whole, you know, by Dr. Robert Duncan to get the entire, you know, the other side. I need both sides of this, the the personal side, the technological side, where these – and also, Dr. Uh, John Hall, you are involved with targeted individuals, with helping them. Because I know quite a few uh, that have they've contacted you and gotten help that way. Yeah, I, I work with a lot of people, at least trying to get them to go down some of the same pathways that we've talked about. Uh, because invariably they think it's their upstairs neighbor or the neighbor across the street. And no. uh, it's mainly trying to explain the technology to them so they don't do something to victimize themselves. In my case, the neighbor moved away after, after I prayed that they would move away. <laughs> but, it, but it didn't stop after that, did it? Um, no, it didn't stop. Uh, it didn't stop, but then it did stop, you know, and then I had somebody actually email me and say he was doing it from Australia, but he was lying. I knew that I, I got the impression that he was just making, cause I'd mentioned it on a uh, broadcast. See what I mean? So someone steps up and go, I was doing that to you. And he apologized for, for having sent, uh, those kind of messages. But then I, what I realized later was now this was a, this was a definite thing. Just like you turn on a light switch that you turn on your stereo or TV. It was like that. No, but again, it's been many years. I've been left alone. So am I free? Either one. Am I free now that I've been left alone? I haven't had that experience for a few years. Or I'm time a- will tell. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. I've, I've heard of other people that have uh, been released for a time, and then uh, then they're brought back into the project. So don't give up the fight just because you may be free. <laughs> well, I'm trying to give – what I'm trying to do with my situation is I'm trying to bring – you know, logic to, I'm trying to bring a better understanding just for, you know, per, this is a personal show for me because I'm trying to understand because I know that a lot of the time um, I've – you know, been quiet, you know, I, and I, at one point, you know, I was pretty wild on, on, on go, I went out live on the internet in 2002 and that probably saved my life. But I mean, I was pretty out there in terms of explaining stuff that was happening to me. And one guy that was a listener, he, he was a doctor and, um, he gave me a clean bill of health and a, I mean, a clean bill of mental health and then signed it as a legal document because he said, you might need this if they try to throw you in the loony bin. So obviously I made this, the, you know, the mistake, but I didn't know what else to do. I was all alone. I didn't know what else to do. So I went forward on the internet uh, thinking that, you know, that's what I should do. And, um, and, and nothing happened to me. In other words, I survived, obviously, you know. And, well, and that's the fight we're trying to fight right now, too, is to educate the psychiatric community that this technology does exist. Because at the, at the very top, uh, American Psychiatric Association, they, they damn well know that this technology exists. At the community level, the psychiatrist that you're going to be sent to in your hometown probably is largely ignorant of the technology and is just going to fulfill the requirements of the dsm 4 to give you a diagnosis. And that's, that's up to us to change that through education. Well, they, you know, when they diagnosed me, I had everything in the, you know, I had uh, uh, all kinds of like paranoia and, and borderline personality and all kinds of terms. You know, that just explained that I couldn't really function in society because, you know, I, you know, I was getting you know, interrupted, if you will. <laughs> you know? But anyway, I've also tried to understand how this works together with the demonic and the satanic. Because there are, there are people, I think we would all agree, walking around as programmed, it seems, by demons. You know, they're, they're just not the same as who they were, you know, and they're in need of an exorcism. I mean, what say you, uh, either one, about exorcism today and, and deliverance? 
Well, I, I, I can't uh, talk to the spiritual level, but there is a weapon system discussed in my book called Satan. And oh, it's no. uh, stands for silence is fascination through adapting networks. So you can imagine all the, uh, you have a behavioral modification tool, uh, weapon. Uh, you can have dial in lethality uh, simply by manipulating the humans themselves to hurt themselves. Uh, and it uses all the best medical discoveries except in the negative. You know, fire can be used to heat, keep people warm and heat food, uh, kill bacteria, or it can be used to burn down villages. And so this is an extreme example of weaponization of the medical profession. Okay. Well, so it, it, if, again, if anyone is, is, feels they're targeted, there, is, uh, there are support groups. Do you think these support groups are legit? How do you know that – okay, here's a good question. How would you know something is wrong with a support group? Uh, it's, there are many things wrong with <laughs> most of the support groups and that's, and that's just natural dysfunctionality. Okay. People are on edge, people are being tortured. Um, and yes, maybe you'll find a, an infiltrator who is trying to stir the pot for no reason. But I found that the support groups, uh, they can be helpful. You get information, but you can get sucked into them and they become, uh, uh, in fighting, and, mm. and unfortunately, you're bringing together people of all walks of life under duress. You're going to have a lot of that in fighting. Well, I don't mind that. What I mind is that you know it, it, it becomes another experiment. That uh, in in a way, it is. It's uh, uh, what they study uh, in the intelligence agencies is uh, how to develop relationships. This is published in DARPA as one of the projects with lifelong uh, uh, understanding of uh, the development of relationships as well as how to disrupt human networks. So okay. uh, you can imagine, you know, that, yes, they, they probably are part of an experiment. Well, all right. Look, we're just about out of time. Uh, again, well, D Dr. Robert Duncan, I thank you so much for being here. You don't have a website. The, the books, I will have those links, Amazon.com uh, and Dr. John Hall. Uh, as always, you know, Dr. John Hall also is a broadcaster and, and has, you know, you, you've got a whole venture there, but you can contact him. I'll get more links up on uh, our show so they can follow your shows as well. You've done a lot, Dr. Hall. You've done a lot in terms of, uh, you know, being an activist out there. And, you, you know, and a lot of people really look up to you and they, they're just really thankful that you came forward. And, but you are, a, a, you know, a leader among men, as it were. <laughs> you know, you're out there bringing awareness to this. But we're all out of time. I thank you both for being here. And God yeah, bless thank you. Thank you for having me. And God bless sure. both of you, okay? And I'm going to be, God you know, bless. catching up. Thank you so much. I've got to let you, these guys go, and that's, uh, that's it on our interview. And, um, well, what do you think? Pretty, uh, pretty amazing, huh? Zef Daniel, and I have no time to explain anything. I just have to get out of here. Uh, we love you. We're praying for you, and we'll see you next time, okay? All right? <laughs>